Hello, glorious highway bridge spilling way that I was just at yesterday. How the hell are you today? I did not miss you. Actually, I kind of did. I dreamt about you last night, and yes, oh yes, it was in fact a wet old dream. Dreaming about the Saugers and the other things that are living down there, and the one that I missed and stuff. What is going on, you dirty old stash dreams? And I say stash dreams because you guys are my dream. My dream group of degenerate stash bags that make this be my job. Well, today I decided to do the same thing over because if there's saugers somewhere, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back because I love saugers. They're like one of my favorites. I mean, they're in the top five. Flatheads, wipers. Eh, do they pass walleyes? I'm not sure. They sure do look cool though, but it's uh, that time of year, boys and girls. Spring has sprung. Even though I've said that a lot already, spring sprung a long time ago, but uh, yeah, there's like mushrooms popping. I'll never make a mushroom video probably, but I'm gonna look for them eventually. There was a fish right there. That's a good sign. I might look for them eventually. I know people don't like creators doing different stuff. And I think YouTube even doesn't really like it. It just doesn't know what to do with different stuff. But yeah, anyway, mushrooms are popping. I've only found them once when Clint spoon fed them to me and took me to a spot that they were at. But maybe I'll try to find my own this year. There was another fish that just went down the waterfall. Weird. Um, enough about mushrooms. We're back. We are still planning on moving down creek. And uh, we just might as well start here. There were saugers here yesterday. There was white bass up the way. We might try that too. But uh, yeah, we're just going to do some close to home creek fishing. Come along with me. See what the hell happens. Stuff and things. Boop you out. I did try some other lures yesterday. Uh, lipless. A uh, smaller offering swim bait and uh, yeah nothing worked besides the baby whale so we're gonna throw the baby whale first step is to throw it up in the current and see if there's any white bass or wipers that are just waiting to chew and then after that kind of drag the back portion of this pool and see if there's any saugers home today all these fish I've been kind of hanging out in the slack water down down creek finally getting warm enough and it's finally getting to be the time that they move up to these dams so if you can even call it a dam it's just a rock riffle but yeah i don't want to jinx it but yesterday i fished for three plus hours and i lost zero lures at some of the snaggiest places in north america so if we lose like five today that'd be pretty good that would be pretty good but i mean if we lose zero today that would also be pretty good i'm about 50 50 on if we catch a sauger if we're gonna eat it i haven't quite decided if it's like one of those bland ugly boogers that doesn't really look cool i might take him out if it's one of the pretty dark ones with the spots and stuff i'll probably be forced to let it go because i love those things i love them Okay, that was weird. Tell me what that is. Why is there giant bubbles coming up? That was intense. That was like the most ridiculous one I've seen yet. And while I was sitting here yesterday, I saw like 30 of them, but that one was like a five foot radii of bubbles coming up from the damn bottom. What is going on? Is that like a flathead down there burping? Is he farting? What in the world, man? What in the world? I need answers. If you guys have answers, give me answers because I need them. I also need a bite. We need the first piece to the puzzle. Puzzle that we started yesterday, but still a puzzle nonetheless. Every day is different at the river, at the creek, at the creek, 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 creeks, creek. Every day is different. New fish moving up, fish moving down. That's what I like about them.
Oh my gosh, it's a fish. I legit, legit thought that I was dragging in like a log or something. I got a flathead. I got a flathead. I got a flathead. This is gonna be sketchy, boys and girls. It seems giant. Absolute giant. He was in like shallow water and my heart is thumping right now. Please don't find a snag. I just wanna see ya. Oh my God. Oh my God. I legit thought I was dragging in a stick and I was horsing it because I didn't want it to like get stuck in something, you know? Where is he hooked? Probably nowhere good, but it's still a monster. And I'm happy to at least see him. I feel bad for poking him in the side, but it happens. Maybe he's why there's no damn saugers around. <laughs> if I was a sauger, I wouldn't want to get anywhere near him. I don't know how big. I know some 60s have been caught here. Not by me. I cannot, I have never thought I had a stick that long and it turned out to be a fish. Never ever. It is a monster though. Sorry buddy. Sorry buddy. Not even on a blade or nothing, you know, on the swimmer. No harm, no foul in my book. People like to cry on the sanguine wintering flatheads. The water's like 55 degrees. Damn coin toss on if this dude would have ate it if I bounced it over his mouth. What a interesting way to start. Been about 30 minutes, maybe 45, maybe some micro pecs, but nothing major happening at all. And while I'm almost certain this guy's not hooked in the mouth, it's a giant and I'm happy to at least see one around, you know. Maybe he's who's been doing all the bubbles out there. Maybe he is. I got the shakes. <laughs> uh, I would have the shakes worse if he thumped it, but I still got the shakes. He was in shallow water. Like he was not in the deep hole by any means. I need to get him out of there. He's trying to get into stuff. I'm trying to get into stuff. Look at that thing. It's huge. It's huge and it looks sick. Well, I'm not super proud of this catch. I still don't want him to come off. <clears throat> I want to at least get a look at him. He's dark and he's wild looking. And he's kind of skinny, which makes me feel even worse. Grinding on something. Oh shit. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, that's some mud. That is some mud. Incredible creature. Incredible. He's got like some of the wildest colors I've ever seen on a flathead. Absolutely wild. Oh no. He was definitely grinding on something. I'm gonna have to tie a new leader after this. I know that for sure, but if this dude's hanging out, he seems to have, uh, I mean, he didn't scare everything away, but like, I felt as though I should have got a bite by now. And then this guy shows up. Damn. Damn. I don't wanna wear him out too much, so. I'm horsing him more than I normally would. Come here, dick cheese. He's like, no, you're a dick cheese. You snagged me in the side. Yes, I know, buddy. I am the dick cheese. That thing is pretty. 
And I mentioned it in the last video, but this water is way clear. Way clear than I'm used to in this creek. It's kind of a sad sight to see, but he's very cool looking. <clears throat> Come here, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. What the f is wrong with this guy? That's bigger than I thought it was. Bigger than I thought it was. He is looking skinny. And not just the like coming off winter skinny, like very, very old fish skinny. Alrighty, like I said, I wanna get this dude back quick, but look how long that thing is. That thing is so long. Sunken belly, missing an eye, but that is an absolute monster. It's so long. What is wrong with you, decrepit bud? What is wrong with you? All right, let's get him back. Let's get him back. Back out onto my rock without sliding in. <clears throat> Look at that thing. Look at that absolute giant. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Missing an eye, but just an absolute monster. <clears throat> I deserved that. I absolutely deserved that. Well, my feet are soaked. I didn't bring any extra socks. And like I said, I absolutely deserved that. Glad to see him kick off healthy, even though I got soaked. Super skinny, old geriatric looking mofo probably 46 47 48 inches maybe 50 inches but about as unhealthy as a 50 incher could be and got him in as quick as i could for sure and he's obviously fine I bet the water temps are like 50 55 or something i don't know this year has been weird on water temps they went way up way down anyway that's a monster that is a monster. I've tried live bait here before, cut bait. I've never got them. I know people do though, but it's my first flathead ever from here. Snagged it like a damn poacher, but my first flathead ever from here. I need a new leader. I need to regroup, figure out what to do from here, but I'm not going to make any more casts here. We're going to go somewhere and stuff. All right, maybe just a few more casts in here. Look at that slime time. Oh my God, I'm definitely, definitely. Oh, there's slime on it, obviously, but the leader is so screwed. I could have broke that fish off at any time. Any time. Even though I'm not proud of that catch, I'm proud of the baby whale and its hook. Held up. Proud of the line, too. The line's not doing well. For anyone who gives a shit, 12 pound Abrazex. Is what I always use. It's not the cheapest shit ever. I'm not sponsored by Seaguar or nothing, but it is pretty good leader material, in my opinion. And it held up to that abuse. All right. Just a little bit. 15 more minutes. Might try some uh, smaller swim baits too. See if I can just catch something in the mouth, you know. Got a couple little ticks on the baby whale, just didn't hook up. So we'll see. We will see if we can get something to bite. But main goal is to not run into that fish again. Some janky shit down here, so hopefully he went and hidden that because I've been staying away from it. But he was like up over there somewhere, if I recall correctly. I was kind of spacing out, but he was definitely not in the deep portion. I'll tell you that for free. Tell you that for free. All right, I'll shut up now. Let's catch a fish. Got something. Something weird though. Got something weird. <laughs> How do I snag so many fish, boys and girls? I just don't get it. Everyone makes fun of me. They're like, you snag more fish than anybody. I'm like, I know, I'm just fishing a f swim bait, all right? Leave me be. 
he was like kind of in the exact same spot as the flathead. And that's actually a really big river carp sucker. I get how uh, people could get mad about snagging fish with a blade bait. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like I catch a lot of fish in the mouth with blade baits, but they also just like provide action. And I'll openly admit that sometimes I get desperate and just want some action, whether it's a snagged fish or not. But this year I've been well behaved, their own swim bait, single hook. The blade bait is like heavyweight, gets to the bottom fast, six hooks. I mean, I can see where people would have an issue with that, even though they are very effective. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I really would like to legitimately catch one of those guys in the mouth at some point. I don't even know what to eat. I don't know what to tell you. Saugers, drum buds, white bass yesterday, snagged flathead, snagged river carp sucker today. Like I said, rivers are just, rivers are cool because they're always different, but sometimes they're different in a bad way, you know? It's not always different in a good day. We'll see how the day progresses though. Wish me luck and stuff. Got something. Got something finally in the mouth. <laughs> desperate times called for desperate measures, boys and girls. And we got one in the mouth. Eh, I'm gonna keep him. I am gonna keep him. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Maybe I am. I don't really wanna go catfishing today. Been enjoying the lure stuff. I've done a lot of catfishing in my life, but. And while I've been enjoying the lure stuff, I really, really, really wanted to catch something in the mouth here <clears throat> to improve my fishing karma for the rest of the day. And it, uh, yeah, took a jig head crawler. Tried and true. And then also to make up for my fishing karma, I'm gonna clean up all the trash that's down here. Alrighty, bucket's full. Found some spray paint. Horse And that is one hell of a drawing. And that is too, what is that, a frog with a pee-pee? Pee-pee frog? Full bucket. Found all sorts of stuff, you know, shooters, monsters left behind by Kyle's. Uh, we had some dippy things, some mints. What else? Oh yeah. Definitely picked up somebody's toilet paper that they wiped their ass with. Probably gonna have to go find somewhere to wash my hands, but uh, yeah. One gold eye in the mouth. Had to use the cheat code, which was the crawlers. But uh, cheat code or not, we didn't catch one fish in the mouth. Even though snagging that flathead made me feel a little guilty. I don't really blame myself. And Yeah, to make up for it on my fishing karma for the day, we uh, filled the bucket with trash. The worst part about it is obviously some of this stuff is coming from the highway, but a lot of it is coming from fishermen. How the hell is there a water bottle in the water? Where'd that come from? But uh, yeah, some of it's fishing lures and some of it is literally fishing lures from after I was here yesterday. So yeah, do better, be better, clean up your trash. Don't snag flatheads, but it happens. And uh, yeah, check out my merch. If you do get some merch from the web website, website link below, you have a chance to win a 6.6 medium light stash stick. If you just want a 6.6 medium light stash stick, buy one. A ton of them in stock, overstock. And yeah, nothing else to cover. I'm gonna go exploring some more. Thanks for watching. See you later. Stuff and thanks for pal. Road to 200K, please subscribe. And stuff.